Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is July 6th. And uh, we start off this morning. There's this one here that I'm going to treat. My cousin Mitch told me that she was a little slow getting up. Okay, her crap does look a little goofy. But uh, I think that's new as of this morning. So, yeah, I'm going to give her something. And uh, then we're going to go down to the construction site. Instantly feeling better. Drinking their water. So this is probably some of our best corn. Uh, I would say six foot high by the 4th of July. I mean, July is, today's July 6th and yeah, it's taller than me and I'm six foot. This is a, our best corn in here, so. Looking good. So here we have actually a good view of everything. Looks like we're doing some work down there getting rid of rock. That's cool. It's rocky. But then you got them putting up the second layer of uh, the sand. Aren't that wide that if they would haul it all together, that's one big truss, that would be a huge load. But yeah, there you can get the whole barn in the picture there. That's gonna be a long barn. There's longer barns out there, but from here it looks long. Especially since it's like by itself, there's no other barns in the way. Here we have like barns that are kind of in the way of each other. Let's see, I can't really grasp how long it is. I think it's like 600 some feet long, I do believe. So then over here, we'll walk over here to look at the I think it's four bags, four bag commodity to ship. And also, eventually here, as a uh, 5,000 subspecial, whenever I get to it, I'm going to do the life of a calf to cow, I guess, at our dairy stages. And then, yeah, so that's something I look forward to. I'll buy it. Walk through the barn. Oh, yeah, I will walk through the barns and stuff. And try to go into detail as much as I can. And eventually, we will talk about the parlor so in this video i'll write down comments you guys ask questions about that parlor we'll go over it eventually in the future i had someone ask about the cupolas that will be in that video whenever that comes out so all right let's look at the commodity the chef is being slapped together to the crane operator. So how much did you say this would lift? It's, I say 60,000, he says more. Uh, yeah, it's 60,000 in the So some of these walls here were actually used for our bunker. It was a dividing wall, but we're uh, reusing them. Thank goodness I got tired of looking at these pieces of concrete back here not being used. The only ones that were getting new were, I believe, in the back. So like the corner, they're because they're special. They're specially made. close enough got to get real close I 
I've never seen a battery powered cock gun. Give it a squeeze. I bet none of my viewers have grip strength like that. Well, I got stuff to do. As much as it would be fun to sit and yap their ears off all day while they work, I got other stuff to do. Like looking at the other construction project. Oh wait, I can't forget about mowing grass. And yes, I all these walls here were bunker walls at one point. As you can tell, there's black top here and there. And there's wobble there, there's wobble here, there's wobble everywhere. So yeah, I'm, I have other stuff to do, but yes. Freestyle barn's coming along nicely. Also, in case in previous videos, I mean, you saw how empty our stall shed was getting. Well, now look at it. Yeah, it's closing in. You might be like, that looks farther away. It's not. It's literally three bales long. Actually, probably four. This is not completely. These aren't two complete rows, but still, you guys get what I'm saying. Here's the rest of the barn. She's full. Also, today they're converting this 90 footer for shelled corn. So that means all our big, all our silos will be full of shelled corn this fall. Thought I would drive around the boiler before I go home for lunch. But uh, yeah, here's the lane. I showed you guys already, but I'm pretty sure it looks like they smoothed it out. And as you can tell, they're working on more grading here. So just like how our tractors have GPS to see where uh, we went in the field, not all of ours, but our planning tractor that is, they have pretty much a GPS, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it, maybe like 3D. So you can like, you can, that, that's what the thing is sticking up there on the dozer blade. And they'll have a piece that's sitting somewhere that they connect to. Getting out of the way of the skitty there. But yeah, it's like 3D GPS, I don't know, guidance system. So now is a good time to actually walk down here. I can stay out of everyone's way, they're on lunch break. But so they did all these a separate day. I think that was last, that was last week. And then now they're doing the centerpieces. So obviously there'll be a roof, but then this would be really, I mean, you'll be able to see the ceiling the trusses here, but after some time they're gonna have a roof a roof and then a ceiling so you won't be able to see those trusses our other cow barns you have the roof but then you can look up and see the trusses but this is very cool big old roof that's for sure so fun fact the manure pit in this so it's, it's two feet deeper so both of our cow barns combined, our older cow barn, the drive-through here where the mixer drives across, there's no pit underneath that. 
it's just off to the sides, like here and right there. Um, that and then our other cowboy combined holds a little bit more than this. This is, if I believe I heard correctly, 4.3 million gallons. This That's how much this pit's gonna hold. It also helps since this barn's slightly wider and deeper and longer. So even though it's not by a terrible lot, that adds up. I mean, if you think, okay, even if it was only four feet wider, you have this whole length that's four feet wide. That adds up for sure. Yes, uh, this would be also a great question. Time to answer questions. I know I'm gonna get it more though. This barn, 600 cow freestyle barn. That's how many freestalls there will be in. We'll be able to add more cows. I don't know if we'll be putting 800 in or what. So 800 sounds like a comfortable number to me, but um, I'll yeah. I'll just you guys will ask questions, and that's all right. Because, like I said, we're gonna go over the questions in a video in the future. They look a lot longer on the truck than they do in the air. Also, a lot of things have changed in here. Um, obviously, this floor's poured. These will be pens. I'm not sure about here. No, for here, I I can't recall. I, I believe there's yeah. These are three different, four different pens, right there. I believe that's each of those black pipes will be where a water trough is. So that will be like we could use them if there's like a lame cow or something, or we're switching. I don't know. I'm not in the milking parlor barn all the time, so I can't really say the uses that we'll have for them. That's just what's coming to my mind. Uh, yeah, so, obviously we have different lanes here. So, the cows will exit, and then we'll have different chutes here for catching cows. I'm trying to figure out which is gonna be which. This is gonna be exit. I think this all this would be for catching cows. I do believe, yes, because here, I believe these would be gates going into these pens. Here, I'm not sure. Here, you can see, I, yeah, I don't know. There's still stuff to be slapped together, so. But yeah, good stuff. And as we enter into the carousel itself, oh, they even have lights down in there. It's looking real good. It's an ad, so I don't have to worry about copyright. Fun fact, those fans aren't even running. It's just the air going up through that's causing them to run. To be honest, other than gates and stuff, they have this to pour yet, but like, they are all but done. I mean, they have curtains up, net, uh, so birds don't get in, even though they're still gonna get in. They just won't have any spots to land in there, so that'll be nice. Mm, it's after lunch here, and it's time for me to do my usual. Here we go. Oh boy. How many calves today? Remember, pro tip, always, always lift with your neck. Remember ladies, keep your head and hooves inside the calf carrier at all times, all right? Panning them up to scrape. See, I like doing this job because they allow, this is the only time that they allow you to get really close to them. And then when you get close to them, then they finally decide to move, they decide to spook, and they fling crap back at you. So it's kind of a slow, painful process of panning them up. It involves a lot of noise making. These past couple of pens aren't uh, seeming too bad, but look, I'm getting closer and closer. 
just so happens that they'll spook. This one might actually be worse because you know, the ladies are out there and they're, they're uh, less aware of me coming through here. So here's a prime example. I'm not going to try to get hit though. See, look, I'm, I'm getting pretty close here. Touch. All right, that wasn't that bad. But yeah, that's like one of the pet peeves that annoy me with heifers. It's like, I spook any other time I see you. It's okay. I'm here to scrape your alleyway. Come on. Bye bye. Yes, I know these pens need bed up. It's just right there is bad. The rest of the pen isn't terrible. I'll probably get it bed up either. Let's say Friday. What the heck is this? We're getting ready to chop corn. Nah, he just has all the panels off. Probably doing maintenance stuff. Fun. Can't wait. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now. I'm tired. My dad's tired. And we didn't really do a whole lot today. I mean, we did, but we didn't. Compared to the days we are working, hours upon hours. Humidity just drains you.